The Pirates of Boonville off to a rocky start. Here in the first inning, Jimmy Overtop takes Connor Barnes deep to right. It is gone. A three-run homer and Westminster out to the lead. Westminster tacked on three more runs and built a 6-0 lead after four innings. But the Pirates battle back. In the fifth, Dylan Watson caps off a five-run inning with a two-run double to right center. And Boonville had come all the way back to make it 6-5. Bottom of the seventh, last chance for the Pirates. Tying run on first. Watson again skies it over the center fielder's wall. Off the fence. What a what a shot there to the wall. And Cole Ficken hustles around to score. And it was a tie ball game. A few intentional walks then loaded the bases. And it's up to sophomore Kale Fox. Full counts on him. And he looks at ball four. Boonville, an improbable comeback winner over Westminster to win 7-6 and advance to next week's semifinals. Hickman would get on the board right away in the top of the first. Here, Connor Ashton flies one to center deep enough for Cameron Chick to score on the sacrifice fly. Hickman would get up early, one nothing. Runner in home, safe. Two batters later, though, Colton Doyle skies this one to center. But this one will go over the center's, center fielder's head, and that will drive in Bennett Patton. And just like that, the Cupies are up 2 nothing early, already looking good. But it was all Vianney from that point on. Here, a single through the right side by Devin Ward. That ca caps off a three-run bottom of the first for Vianney. Now in the bottom of the second, Vianney would extend the lead courtesy of this mammoth solo home run from Brock Daniels that made it 4-2. Vianney would tack on four more runs and take the Class 5 championship. Hickman finishes second with a 2nd with a 27-11 overall record. A couple of hours later, though, Boonville would take on Aurora for a spot in the Class 4 championship game, which takes place today. Both teams just one loss each coming into this one, and Boonville starter Jared Vertel had a perfect 10-0 record. He would get off to a rough start, though, against the leadoff batter Jeremiah Fisher. Third baseman Cole Ficken tried to barehand the bunt, but bobbles the hit. But the Boonville defense would come up big here. Aurora grounds into a nice 4-6-3 double play, and Vertel would get out of the first. Ficken would make up for that error in the first with a solo shot to right center to put Boonville up 1-0. However, the Pirates would fall short against Aurora by a score of 5-3. They finished this season with a 24-2 overall record.